helicopter with a water tank on it underneath. It holds about 80 gallons. And it's got this long hose with control seat right there. And they actually point at our transmission insulators and wash the salt and contamination off of them. For example, over at the causeway, where we have towers that go across the water, we'd have to rent a barge and go over there, and that's time consuming, and we need to have a faster reaction to that. And just like a bucket truck can get to most of these things, these towers and these structures, uh, it, it's more time friendly to get to it with a helicopter, and they're able to hit more faster and quicker that way. And what this does, of course, is it gives us more reliable service. Now we'll continue this until we start getting a decent amount of rain to wash our insulators. Uh, and uh, we're committed to it and we're going to serve our public with least to no interruptions. On this particular line that we're working on today is 138,000 kilovolts. fiberglass boom about five inches away from that, which cleans that, that contamination rather rapidly. The boom puts out about 400 to 600 psi, so it's fairly powerful, kills the contamination off quickly. He's got a machine over there right now. He's testing the water just to make sure it's still coming out clean.